Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the 1% Mastermind. Who grew up saying, dude, I want to win. When I grew up, I want to be part of the 1%. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Okay. I called the hotel earlier this week. I said, we got a bunch of uh, insurance agents. We got to start at 9 a.m. Okay. So I'm worried about them waking up, getting their energy up, going for a run, working out, starting off the daily power five by waking up before 6 a.m. I said, so if we can do the fire alarm test on Friday morning, right before the event, everybody be woke up. Nobody will be late, okay? So you can thank me for that. You're welcome, all right, okay? So welcome to 1%. Uh, this, this morning, I want to talk through eight rules to eight figures. Eight rules to eight figures. As you're taking notes, these are specific things that we've applied in our different companies that have changed the game for us. Who's here because you want to change the game for you in 2021, and you want life to get really good in 2021, you want your income to go up in 2021, you want to have a lot of people in 2021, and you want to look back and say, dude, 2021 was the year to be remembered. 2021 was the year when everything took off. 2021 was the year that I got my act together and I started acting like a one percenter. Who's like, dude, I believe it's going to happen this year. I believe this year is the year, and I believe that if I apply these eight rules... Life's going to get really good in 2021. Who believes that? Okay, let's dive in. Let's go, okay? Also, give yourself a hand while we're at it. Thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Not only did you, not only did you show up, you're early, you're sitting down, you're ready to take notes, you're ready to learn. Like, I, I believe, I, I spoke at Nate Offert's event, SWAT, uh, last year, and I, and I walked through, like, the steps to becoming a six-figure agent because there's a lot of new agents in the room. And I believe there's steps to success. And I believe the first step to success is showing up. There's a lot of people in our industry that use 2021 as an excuse. They use 2020 as a reason to not be successful. They use 2021 as a way to hold them back from showing up. I believe that you gotta show up no matter what. Doesn't matter how you feel. Doesn't matter what's going on in your life. Doesn't matter what's going on around you. I control me. Nobody else does. Pete agrees with that. The only thing I can control is me, right? I want to control the controllables. 2020 was an unbelievable year for us. Hopefully it was for you. And hopefully 2021 is even better. Okay, so let's dive into the eight rules, eight figures. Again, thank you for being here. Rule number one. Rule number one. Start with the end in mind. Start with the end in mind. I went to Grant Cardone's $50,000 mastermind back in February of 2020. And he walked through several different nuggets. Can you imagine being in a room with some of his caliber? You got a dozen people in the room. You're paying big time money to learn something. Like you are here because you are hoping that you are going to learn something that you can take back to your business and revolutionize everything you're doing. True or false? You're here because you know that it takes more than just knowledge. It takes a lot of relationships. It takes a lot of networking. And that's the one thing that was amazing. Like we did this in, in Springfield, Missouri, at our power player networking retreat back in August. G g g g g give me a little uh, shout if you were in Springfield for the power player retreat. <laughs> that was one of the coolest events we've ever done. And we're going to do an event, this event, similar to that, because what I've learned is it's not about always picking up a nugget from stage. Sometimes you grab something in the elevator. Sometimes you'll grab something at the VIP party in the reception the night before. Sometimes you'll hear something, you have a conversation with somebody, and your whole life will change. Our industry needs events like this. And I can tell you, that we're gonna keep having them no matter what's going on, okay? When I was at that, when I was at that at GC's Mastermind back in February, he talked about starting with the end in mind. He talked about creating his ideal life. And so rule number one is to start with the end in mind. I wanna challenge you to start to think about where do you want to end up? Life is gonna get really good, and we know this in the interest industry as long as we don't quit. One of the things that I know specifically 
is that when I start to focus on my potential instead of where I'm currently sitting, not only do I stay extremely humble, but it keeps me focused on moving forward. Like I said this on the Texas training tour, my wife and I bought a uh, three quarters of a million dollar home in Springfield, Missouri. We're in Springfield, Missouri, that's, that's a pretty nice house. And day two, I looked at her and I'm like, babe, it ain't big enough. Because I'm thinking about the end in mind, right? But I also told her like, hey, I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. I'm not getting to my potential, Dan, quick enough, man. And I know that I want to get there faster. Who's here because you want to get there faster? You're like, dude, I'm tired of waiting. I want to go there now. I want to challenge you to start with the end in mind. And what that means is start looking ahead, right? If you're 30, if you're freaking 23, like some of these young bucks in the room, like, man, dude, I would give anything to be 23, 24 right now, right? Mr. Whalen, right? I mean, it's crazy, man. It's awesome. I want you to think about what does life look like in 30 years when you're 60, right? If you're 50, what's life look like in a decade, 20 years? I want you to start thinking about what do you want your life to look like? How do you want to travel? How many homes do you want? How many clients have you helped? How, how much revenue are you doing? How many staff members do you have? What does everything look like? Plan it out now. Like my wife and I, we bought a hot tub recently. And, and I think she did it because she knew I wouldn't play on my phone when I was in the hot tub and we could like actually have some like conversations in the hot tub together, right? Some QT, some quality time, as she says. And when we're in the hot tub, we're talking about and envisioning our future. Like, what do we want it to look like? Where do we want to go? What do we want to achieve? What do we want to, how many people do we want to help? What does all this look like in several decades? And I can tell you this. Life's going to get really good for us as long as I don't screw it up. Which puts a lot of pressure on me to be focused more on my potential and where I'm currently going. Like I'm getting up and working out and writing down my goals, all this other stuff every single day because I want to get there faster. And I know the only way I don't get there, we don't get there, is if I get more complacent and I slow down. I don't want to slow down. And you're here because guess what? you don't want to slow down either. Start with the end in mind. Start to think about what does life look like in the future? How do you want your life to look like? Envision it in the future and then start with the end in mind. Who's going to commit right now that, dude, I'm going to start with the end in mind from now on in 2021. If I haven't thought about my future and what it looks like, I'm going to start to plan it out now, right? Because Ryan knows, dude, you have to plan it out now. You can't wait because if you wait, guess what? Who knows what it's going to look like? And it's like trying to hit a target that you can't see and you're shooting a bow and arrow, which I would never hit to begin with if I was actually shooting a bow and arrow. However, I know that I have to have something I'm going for, something I'm shooting for, a target to shoot at, or I'm never actually going to get there. Casey and I were talking earlier about owning an airplane. And one of my goals is to buy an airplane this year, Okay, which for some of you are like, dude, that's Take some guts, man, that's big. And he said, why do you want a plane? I said, number one, I can be at home with my wife more, right? When we have our kid that, that we don't have yet, I'll be able to get home faster. I won't have to drive 10 hours from Austin. I said, number two, I can help a lot more people and do a lot more events like this. True or true? And number three, yeah, it'll help from an attention and branding standpoint too. So why not, right? There's always a little bit of that, okay? So I want to challenge you to start to think about what does it look like? Like if you're, if, if you're here and you're like, dude, I'm not even a one percenter yet. I just want to be in the room with the one percenters. Okay. And give those the hand that aren't, that are here because that's freaking awesome. Like I wish I could have been in a room like this. Okay. Start to think about what it looks like. Write it down every day. Start to envision it. And I'm telling you, life's going to get really good as long as you start with the end in mind. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Anyone watching this can become a millionaire in our industry. Most people don't know this, okay? 4% of all companies in the US do seven figures a year. Here's also another stat most people don't know.